All right, guys, what is up? It's Apollo here, and welcome back to War of Rights. Before I even get started with this video, just wanted to say that War of Rights is 50% off. 15 US dollars, that is a steal, and that's going to last until July 9th. So you have some time to think about it, but guys, don't think about it. Just buy. Just buy. All right, uh, this game is really fun, especially if you're looking for a teamwork, realism kind of game. This is a, a great one. Also, it's very, it's very historically accurate, so you can uh, really experience the Civil War in a such an authentic way. Uh, and there's also plenty of great regiments, which I highly recommend you join, because the events are very fun. And speaking of regiments, we're going to be checking out the 8th Florida. But before I talk about those guys... Um, I do want to mention there is an interview at the end of this video with one of the developers of one of the team, you know, team members of Campfire Games who obviously make War of Rights, Clark Morningstar. Uh, he is a historical advisor for the game and a really funny guy and uh, I had a fun interview with him just talking about the future of the game and things they're trying to accomplish and what's what's to come in, in some some future, whether near or far. Um, hopefully mostly near but uh, yeah really great interview so stay stay tuned for that uh, so yeah back to the 8th Florida if you guys are looking to join a cool CSA regiment these guys are for you uh, they obviously Florida uh, <laughs> if you want to fight for Florida um, they're really organized and uh, they are probably the most in terms of staying authentically true to commands and really under fire, like under intense fire, they stick to those drills. They stick to those commands of, you know, keeping the lines organizing and forming up the company, which you'll see in today's gameplay. Also, I think they made a lot of great moves here in this battle in terms of strategy. I think they did a great job with that. Some good flanking fire at one point which you'll see in this video. Uh, but I have a link uh, in the video description. Uh, well, I have multiple links. One, I have a link for War of Rights, the Steam page, so you can just quickly go to War of Rights and buy it. And then two, I have a link to how to join the 8th Florida. So I've got all their information down below. Uh, I had a lot of fun with these guys. They were, they were I mean, I, I never not have fun with these regiments. They're always, uh, they're always good fun, always exciting to play with. and. This was a really fun event, so I had a good time, and I'm sure if you join the 8th Florida, you will also have a very good time. Uh, so yeah, that's it guys. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Right, this is it. The same map. Uh, okay, no, boys. Here it comes, here it comes. Here we go. Mojans. You're alive now, all right. Let's kill some Yankees, boy! Let's go get them, let's go yeah. get them! All right, Sergeant. Oops. Is Hoffman here? Oh God, heat stroke. Uh, oh, just stop! What's happening? Left for me is always the corporal. Uh, or whatever. We don't, we don't have a corporal right now. We don't have a corporal. Okay. Okay, fall in, gentlemen. Fall in. 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 Fall Right, right shoulder, shoulder shift. shift. Right shoulder shift. Or. Right, face. You're making a third line of. Do prava, do chimistar, do prava. All right, uh, Osenia, please. Close to the back behind me. Get into a decent life, for fuck's sake. Don't have any space. <laughs> Unreal, All the way to the back. Forward. 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 Andre, falsche Einheit, kommst du mit? Yeah! Hell yeah! 
Kill some Yankees. Well done, boy. Well done. Keep it tight. Keep it tight, boys. Fill those gaps. Good job. I think I got the music guy right for hell yeah. Right in front of us. <laughs> that was that was Keep one hell of a start. <laughs> I think I got one though. He's firing. He's firing. Oh. Right, Rock Island. Rock Island. We need you to fire, line up on our right side, please. We need you to line up on our right side. They charged us. We are almost. We got almost playing. Rock Island. Please get on the right side of our. Get on our right flank. Eight for the whole fire. Full fire oh, right. Oh. Sergeant, on my right, first sergeant, on my right. All right, let's see what Eighth Florida can do. They can march well, but the see if they can fight the well. Right, right. Uh, sergeant, <laughs> on my right. Two forward, two forward. Bridge on my right. Oh. Sergeant Bridge on the right. Oh, hit him, hit him. Dig, 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 dig. Here, here. Into line, march. Into line, smart. Into line, boys. Into on the line. Sergeant, on the sergeant, go, go, go. Sergeant's right. Sergeant's right. On my right. On my right. On my right, boys. All right. Po pravé straně. Po pravé ruce. Děláme dvojřad. Double rank. West. Double rank. 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 Double Hold your fire. Hold somebody's, your fire. somebody's stuck in me. Hold fire, boy. Don't stay behind the sergeant, but they appreciate it. Don't stay behind the sergeant. Don't stay behind the sergeant. Don't stay behind the sergeant. Neil! 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 Hold! Hold! Opening left face. Left face. Fire by company, ready. Fire by company, ready. 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 Hey. Oh God. Billy. Oh. Johnny. Whatever. Didn't Water. care for him that like much. Let's see. It's North Carolina. What's the end? Well done, boys. Well done. Uh, I'm trying to like guys, we got, someone we got, in front we of me. We have skirmishes over here, on, right in front of us. Do you need help? Uh, pop, pop, uh, you have to pop. Uh, it's big smoke. Right, alright, if you need any help, send the messenger. Yeah, we need help. Right, right, right. Hurry up, we need help. <laughs> oh! Jesus. Oh boy. After you've reloaded, Neil. After load, Neil. Here we go. Back in the line. Kill me, Yankee. Neil down. Neil, Neil boys. Down, boy. Company Neil. Neil. Alright. Neil, boys, Neil, hold your fire. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. The left flank is, was out. The flex flag was charged. We have no man on the left flank. The left flank is not secured. We need to fall back. We need to fall back. Company, right, oh. left, right face. Double right face. Double face. Stand up, boys. Stand up. Right face. Double face. Let's go. Let's Pick go. Let's go. Pick up the flag. Pick up the flag. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, God. Double, double, double. Make it double. Make it double. 
Move it, move it, move it. Double, 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 make it double. All right, so it seems that the left flank was crushed, and we are having to fall back to, in case you didn't hear him, uh, fall back a to a better mess. position so we don't get flanked from the left. Maybe we can help re-secure that flank. We'll see what happens. Don't push each other, gentlemen. Don't push each other. Make it smooth. Make it smooth. Fire and fire company. Ready. Fire and fire company. Ready. Make ready. Aim. Aim for the colors. Aim for the colors. Aim. Aim to the north. Uh, west, sorry. Fire. GG. Oh. No. We're down here. Officer oh. down. See you My company. Break reload. Break reload. Left face. Left face. Left face. Left face. Left double quick, Mark. Double quick, Mark. 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 Make reloads, make reloads. Yee yee! Where's the officer? He's spawning in, he's in. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh. oh no! Alright, company, make ready. Um, make ready. Make ready. Make ready. Make ready. Make ready. Make ready. ready. Get ready. Take aim. Oh, I see it. Aim. Take aim. He shot at me. Fire. Fire. Boys. Against Georgia. Uh, with uh, one of our units is charging on the left, so I was moving forward now. Loaded, right. loaded, loaded. Do you suggest moving forward? Yeah. All right. Make loads. Load. Hold it, load it, load it fast. Reloaded. We should see that. Charge, charge Bennett! Charge Bennett! Charge Bennett! Double quick! 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 Where is the Hold captain? Close the captain. Rally to the colors, man. Into line on the right of the captain. Into line on my right, on my right. Here they come, here they come. Yanks coming. Hold, hold it, hold it. Wait for them to come closer. Wait for them to come closer. Aim. Ooh. Aim. 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 Fire. Aim. Fire. 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 Good shit. Guys, you can sit down and That was a good move. Really good move. I'm inside someone. We fly standing. I'm inside you. <laughs> I'm inside you. Uh, I'm not meeting. The game is not accepted in the Why do we need to pull back and stick our right flank? T-shirt, 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 only to sue, only to sue. That was uncalled for. Dead, 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 dead. Threat on me, threat on me, threat on me, threat on me. Fire at will, fire at will. Fire at will. Fire at will. Fire at will. I'm not here. I can't. Right in front of us. Right in front of us. Holy shit! Check my strength. Give it to him, boys. Yeah, yeah. Right down that fence line. Right down that fence line. Right down the fence line. Right the fence line. To the west. Yep. Hey, no, keep up the fire. Keep up the fire. Keep shooting. The flag's still standing. Keep shooting. It's that smoke. Messenger. Shoot that flag down. Shoot that flag down. Yes, they are flanking from the north. They are coming from the spa. Right from of us. North. Come on. Come on. Come on. Eight, Eight Florida. Right. Eight Florida. Break close. Break close. Enter line, boys. Fire down the road. Hold Shoot the road. Hold the road, boys. Hold the road. Gotta get a reload in. The left side. Left side is down. We need support. We are getting shot back there. 
Alright, but there's an enemy on the road too. Yeah, they're right in front of us. Okay, I'm gonna we are holding them. Yeah, no. Okay, go, go, go. Fire, 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 fire. Ah. Oh, them. Keep firing. Alright, right, the Yanks are pushing to the left. Pull back, double quick. Come, come on me, on me. Pull back, man. Break off, pull back. Break off, pull back, boys. Pull back. Put this fast. Pull back. Oh my god, the horror! I didn't sign up for this! First on my left, boys, first on my left. You need to shift the road. Make sure you line up your man right to this fence where I'm pointing. The enemy is riding on the road and they're on the right flank. Line up, line up your man on the right flank. Company, hold fire, hold fire, it's for all your fire, save your bullets for the incoming enemy. Okay, boys, fight in ranks, we need to listen. Sergeant Bridge? Yes. Yes. Dead. Give me, give me some space, guys. Make, make the way for the sergeant, make the way for the sergeant. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bridge, direct the service messenger. Go find it for the ask for the situation. Alright, go. Oh, nice. A for the South East, ready. Travel Company, South East. Ready! A! A! Take A! South East. 100 yards! Oh, fuck! Fire! Oh, no. Sorry. You heard Schimmer over Lincoln. Fischer, 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 Fischer. Sentu, 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 Adesem. Here, from here. Okay, boy, South Sea. Uh, was my Alabama to Tam Drji, I do not need to say, I'm just going 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 Right, go. You ain't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Shut up. Uh, we were too exposed, they can uh, do my fire, so we're in the corner with you on the far left side. Alright, uh, can you please line up your men on the north, northeast? Yeah, yeah, Behind we are on the north. Alright, thank you us. much. Hold, hold no it. You should have praised us in the middle. Behind, boy. Find the ranks, find the ranks. What the hell are you doing? This was an amateur. The union is behind us in the corner. Fighting right. Alright, right face, right face. Right face. Double quick march on me. Right, 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 right,
when we try to help you on the center and outflank the enemy, uh, they have enough men to bring on the right. Okay. All right. So we had we don't we don't have enough advantage and men to respond okay, back. Okay, maybe right. we both companies charge to them, uh, charge yeah, together done. into the field and clear this area and some then some weird southern right. accents. All right. So um, do you want sure? to charge them? Uh, what do you need. say about we only have to defend this area, right? T-shirt. And we have a perfect position from the from the field. So what do you want to say? Just focus on defending this spawn area from both sides. Cornfield. Right in front of us. Sure. I think right Oh boy. I got it. Oh, right, hold on, hold on. Place There's the too death. many people to have talking to me. So They're right in the cornfield. Okay. If you want to catch a bullet. We, we focus well. on defending this square and the in front of us. Sorry, I can't, I can't point. Don't ask me why. Uh, in the front of us. We take right and And you take the left. Uh, right. Talking strategy is pretty cool. You make a charge, take back the field, we defend the right side of the field, and we defend the center of the field. Understood. Both are in the center, okay? Alright, we are charging right now to the Charge in 18 uh, and, and, seven, and 27 to 30, okay? Alright, charge in 27 to 30. Sure. Okay? They're okay. right in the field. Understood. Right in the I know, back. I know, pilot. Back to the ranks, back to the ranks. Alright, gentlemen, quiet in the ranks. Charge. Right in the ranks, we're ranks charging, boys. charge right, in 20 boys. seconds, 20 seconds to charge, company, charge, Bennett! Charge, charge, charge Bennett! Charge, charge Bennett! What does the second rank do? We're in the second rank, so 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 we're in the second rank, Charge forward! Charge! 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 Alright boys, into line, form company, quickly boys. If we're on. Get back. Get back. Fine boys. Reload to banners once you're in the line boys. Reload. Nobody to my right. To the left. Alright company, is falling on the spawn point. Let's go rally up on the spawn yeah, point. Yeah, we're, we're getting ready already. Reloads and bayonets, boys, into two ranks. We're having multiple ranks, any right. Did the charge work? I don't know. No, they didn't sound too impressed. Uh, I'm ranks, I guess. You all ready to march up to the front? Yeah, yeah, no shoes. Yeah. Let's march up to the front. We're waiting for uh, Compassy. Yeah, in, in Tesla. Hey, company, see coming. That was the point. <laughs> what you laughing about, boy? Alright, right, boys, let's go. Right face. Right face. Hey, fellow Bam, after here. At the quick time. Forward. Quick time. Forward. 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 March. Alright, first lieutenant, first lieutenant, over here, close. Alright, hold boys. Oh, oh, yeah. company hold. Alright, yeah. gentlemen, we line. need to go and back, we need to go back to the left flank, secure the cornfield area. So we are going to line up again on our right, last you two, go to the back of the formation if you want. Alright, lieutenant, lead the, lead the formation back to the cornfield. Yeah, sure. Okay, to the front. We got over oh, the back. Alright. Say, say it again, Foster. We've been overrun. Five thousand. Nobody's surviving. Five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand left. Oh. We're going to line. We're going to back on the on the left line. Kelly, 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 Five Kelly. Five thousand left. Five thousand left. Five thousand left. Who be James? Tiny old boy. On the side. Catch up, boys. Let's go. So I stay. Right, right company. Right. At the double quick. The double quick. Double quick. Double quick. Double Enemy yip yip, right. Alabama! Down the road, down the road. Let's go, boys. Let's to catch up. Oh, God! Down, 
Cabrón, no. mío. Están en el right corner. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Oh, that was horrible. So, company of hope, on hope one. So, thank you. Another cap and point. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. They're everywhere. Double quick, double quick. Uh, <laughs> no! Uh. And hold here. Hold here. Hopefully the Yankees don't get uh, the any, point. Any, any info? What happened over there? I died. We, I, died I think we all they died. Were they were on <laughs> well, Right. This funnel was funneled in. I guess we're all gonna help him. Right, company on me. Let's go. Let's I'm, go I'm sorry, let's go. Yee -yee, let's go. Yee -yee. Company at the double quick. Double Forward. Quick. Forward. March. Fourth Rhode Island. Yee -yee. What's up, boy? Yeah, yeah. What's up, boys? Let's get the point before the Yanks take it. Yeah, we're gonna charge him, boys. We're gonna charge him. We need All to right. do that. Alright, company, hold. Hold. Company, form up on my right. On sergeant's right. Company, charge bayonets. Charge bayonets. May God bless you all. Charge! Yee! 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 Damn, that looks like GG. Yeah, yee! 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 They have it, guys. That was a game with uh, Eighth Florida. They're really organized, and I, I like the leader's strategic um, his plans. I think there was a lot of moments we did pretty well with good flanking fire, or whatnot. Um, but yeah, uh, remember, guys. There's links all in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. Check out uh, Florida if you're from Florida. You want to represent? These guys are cool. Uh, really great guys in there. Really enjoyed it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time on the battlefield. All right, guys, so here we are with a uh, very special interview. Um, we are joined with Clark Morningstar, who is the historical advisor for Campfire Games, of course, working on War of Rights. Uh, so how's it going, Clark? It's going pretty fine and dandy. How about yourself? I, I'm, I'm very, very good, man. You know, I've, um, I've, been, I've been watching War of Rights, you know, the development, uh, and when I first announced in that Kickstarter, uh, which that Kickstarter was amazing, and um, oh, thank you. Yes, yes, of course, Clark. You were the uh, the main guy in the video. In case people don't know exactly who I'm talking about, um, but I was. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, it was. It's it's always really exciting to see a game that um, focuses so much on history and really making history come to life. Well, we're definitely hoping that we can be the start of something new, so to speak. Uh, it's been a really fun time being able to be part of this process and um, uh, myself also being able to see it grow and expand over the time, not just in terms of development, but also in terms of the awesome folks that we have in the community that's uh, really helping it get to the point that it is now and where it might go in the future. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely a community-focused game, um, obviously, you know, being a mass multiplayer game. Um, so yeah, it, it, you know, the, those are the best kind of games where people can get together and kind of, you know, get together and play these big battles. But, uh, you know, being a historical advisor, um, what exactly, now, of course you advise the team, 
and like what's historical but what else are other things you kind of do in the company well that's a very good question besides obviously these interviews here um the goal or the job of the historical advisor at least in this game has been quite far-ranging where uh, i'm uh, being able to do a little bit of a objective viewpoint on everything from uh, the UI to the sound design of the game to not, you know, obviously the uh, characters, uniforms and equipment, the weaponry, um, the ballistics of the weaponry, the um, design of the rain spouts uh, that uh, are on some of the houses. It's a very wide ranging right. uh, thing that I do research and uh, help with the development on. So uh, it's been a lot of fun touching on all those different uh, parts that help make this game complete yeah. also um you know fortunately i've had quite a bit of experience in the ring and acting world to uh have a bit Ooh. of a feel of that but also when it comes to like the music that we have in the game uh where you know going eh, maybe that particular kind of drum isn't a good one perhaps if there's more snare drum that he could use for that part so you know there's all sorts of different things that i uh, definitely have touched on in this and I'm very grateful to have had that opportunity so no no dubstep right no dubstep in Civil yeah War. unfortunately <laughs> not um, you know they they tried doing it in the camps but then they were quickly waylaid <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm afraid yeah. I went to a reenactment pretty recently and my god the cannons are so loud and uh yeah and you're you're feeling it right through your feet as so they go off right yep yep you you feel that and I, I had no idea like when i first went near it the guy was like all right like this could be kind of loud so if you're sensitive to hearing you might want <laughs> i'm like yeah yeah all right i've been to a lot of concerts you know and, and then and then he says it always helps to keep your mouth open i was like oh god this must be really loud <laughs> Because that's, you know, the go-to thing if you're near a larger, you know, ex sound or explosion. Keep your mouth open because it helps suppression. Yeah. So I was like, oh, this is going to be bad. And I was expecting them to say fire in the hole. They, they didn't say anything. And it just, oh. I was looking at something else and it just like, it was quite the experience. So um, it's kind of surreal to think about these guys were, you know dealing with hundreds of those cannons in muskets and it's just a oh, yeah. surreal uh, experience let alone just one well i'm sure you wouldn't be surprised to know that right after the civil war was over there was oh, so many advertisements in the newspapers at the time for hearing aid devices because a lot of the guys had their ears blown out from all these yeah. uh different things going on around them. yeah that, that that's yeah that's not a surprise and i can't imagine what the smoke did to all that, you know, gunpowder smoke and... Fortunately, that didn't have as much health effects on the soldiers uh, as you might think. More so, like, if there was burning buildings around them and they inhaled too much of the smoke. Um, or just that smoking. <laughs> or just sm smoking, yeah. yes. There's definitely that part. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, but the, yeah. Um, it helps your complexion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It makes you stronger. Yeah. Exactly. No, that was definitely a thing going on at the time. Yeah. Albeit, uh, there was, even at that point, uh, a lot of doctors going, um, you know, maybe this is actually a problem. So, yeah, it was two sides of the coin. So let's let's talk about <laughs> War of Rights here. So, um, I'm here to help with that. War of Rights, you guys have made some fantastic improvements. Um, and I know, you, what is it, 11-man team in terms of developers? Uh, it, it does range a little bit, but currently our team is good 13-person strong. Wow, that's amazing. That 13 yeah, with people, people yeah. all across the world. Um, for instance, myself and the character designer here in the U.S., uh, the team leads, uh, uh, Trusty and Fancy, are over there in Denmark, the ones that originated this whole thing. And we have our sound designer in Britain. We have all sorts of people all just all across the world. France, all sorts. See, that's that's so cool to, to hear that, you know, people from all around the world being involved in a project about the american civil war where how does i i don't know if you know the answer to this but how did is a couple of danish guys get together and like hey let's make an american civil war game uh it was a little bit like that basically you know they had been friends for a long time and they went out camping together and uh they were discussing how they both were really wanting to perhaps make some sort of game and uh both of them you know liking uh that more musketry era period right. more 
kind of looking along those lines and um, mods also known as fancy or excuse me trusty I should say he uh, for a long time had been watching things like Gettysburg and uh, uh, gods and generals and different yes. uh, Civil War American Civil War videos and movies like that and so he was the one that particularly uh, got the team heading towards that period that's awesome. That's, it, I don't know why it's so cool for me to hear about people from different countries being so excited or so into learning an American conflict. Also, I'm glad that they didn't get too much information or inspiration by the uh, beards in Gettysburg into the game. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so um, you guys, are, as of right now, there's skirmish in the game and you have picket patrol. Uh, skirmish being um, more of like objective base, if I'm not Correct. mistaken. Correct. Yeah, which I really, when I first heard about it, I was like, mm, well, we'll see what it's about. And I love it. I love the the <laughs> fight for these points and the respawn and how you get back to that area. And it works really nicely. Now, you guys are planning on, I think, the next game mode being battle? Uh, what's something known as the historical battles, yes. Okay. And... That's where instead of these small sections of the map where you're fighting over Burnside Bridge or you're fighting over the Miller's Cornfield, instead your uh, team is able to range over the entirety of the map. Wow. And uh, at that point, it'll also include a larger chain of command where you actually have a major general in command of each team that is using an overall map and is actually orchestrating their team to, um, you know, whatever different sections of the map there are um, at this point we don't have uh, too much nailed down but um, one idea is that it might be something along the lines of a successive objective mode where uh, during one game yet again you will be fighting over Burnside Bridge but you have to come all the way from uh, oh guy not Linkville but uh, from the town of Frederick to get over there and try and get that held down or the on the road uh, from Frederick uh, and so the team uh, has a base starting point uh, where they actually did begin. Uh, for instance, you have uh, Hooker's first core that was uh, up at the uh, top of our current map there, where there used to be a small little uh, one-horse town that unfortunately doesn't exist any longer. So that's what I'm having to try and research about. <laughs> um, <laughs> I believe it was called Frost Town at that point. Or no, I am apologize. Uh, Frost Town was at South Mountain. Uh, but you're able to range over the entirety of the map and then uh, go to pretty much anywhere to get to that objective. So let's say you want to um, be on the Union side trying to take over Burnside. Well, instead of having to cross that bridge as they did historically, perhaps your Major General decides to uh, go down to the Sawyer Ford and come up from the bottom as uh, they actually did also during the um, actual historical period. Uh, but later on in the, in the battle, once they actually discovered that the Ford was there. So, uh, yeah, you're right. Um, perhaps the major general decides to do that earlier on, uh, but for, if only then you have some terrible Georgians there that are going, "Hey, yep. that's not a good idea for you boys." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, there would be a fog of war that uh, the general is having to using his map. Um, so scouting. Consider, yeah. So things like scouts and couriers will uh, be oh. very useful in that game mode where. Um, there will be a simulated delay to help simulate that uh, couriers going back and forth to say, hey, we discovered the enemy at such and such point. So as uh, the regiment in the field of battle is doing their thing and they discover an enemy in front of them, it'll take a minute or two for that uh, map that the major general is using for it to update and showcase, hey, that they've come across some enemies. That is... So cool. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. from there, the major generals have the option to uh, send orders uh, down the chain of command to the colonels in charge of the regiments, the colonels in turn to the uh, captains in charge of the companies and say, hey, we need to do such and such thing. And the officers, just based off of uh, the exigencies of the battle, have the option to follow through with that command or perhaps going against that chain of command and do their own thing if they... Uh, see that there's a better way to do it or if they want to do their own thing much to perhaps the detriment of their team wow that's yeah that so i i guess my biggest question is how many players do you guys plan on having on the battlefield if you do the entire battlefield it's going to be quite massive 
So it, yeah, exactly. Are, are you guys planning to? Because as of right now, it's at 150. But you guys have tested 200 players on on a skirmish before, which seems to be running pretty well. But do you guys plan to up that number from 200 at all? Well, it'll just depend on how far we can go with the server code. The main limitation that we come across is basically uh, the latencies between the server and the client, um, which, you know, as you get more and more people, that's more and more things for the server to have to keep a track of, as well as for the client to have to keep track of as well, and the time it takes for those uh, data packets to get between the server to the client and uh, how many of those have to have happened. Unfortunately, I'm the historical advisor rather than <laughs> yeah, the uh, programmer to be yeah. able to more accurately describe the process. Right. But, uh, it's those sorts of basically current technology limitations that we're coming across to be able to really up those numbers as much as we'd like. So uh, it'll just depend on uh, how best we can optimize and uh, how soon we can uh, make those higher numbers happen, basically. Yeah, yeah, no, that that makes sense. Oh, by the way, you know, obviously you work in the game. Do you often come to the events and, and join in? And I do when I can, and I greatly enjoy the time that I'm able to spend with some of the various regiments there, uh, both on the north as well as the south, albeit I will admit I do have a bit of a northern bias to myself, a northern leanings. Yeah, yeah, it, it's all right, it's all right. No, <laughs> yeah. no. Don't forgive me this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Also, there's rumors of artillery coming to the game soon. Uh, do you want to kind of talk about how artillery is going to work? Absolutely. So, uh, as we've discussed on the forum, uh, we do have quite a few plans when it comes to the implementation of player-controlled artillery, albeit it is going to be a successive thing. So, uh, at the beginning of things, uh, the players are going to be able to interact with the artillery and actually move it around by hand, uh, d very slowly rolling it right. uh, if they need to from place to place or just uh, moving it around uh, in place to uh, get a certain aiming process down. Uh, and, you know, if you take a peek at any of the um, various YouTube videos that are out there as to how an artillery piece would have been loaded and fired. We are trying to, obviously, given it's a historically accurate game, try and keep it as historically accurate as possible in regards to the loading and firing of the piece. So, uh, any in terms of, uh, historically speaking, the numbers uh, to actually man the piece could range anywhere from at least two all the way up to uh, preferably eight people on a uh, on, on, single gun. Yeah. Um, so, you know, in the game, you definitely do have the option to um, uh, explore that range, certainly. Uh, but in any case, with the artillery, um, you do have the uh, gunner, obviously. That's going to be the uh, also known as the chief of the piece, who is helping uh, aim the piece as well as make sure that the process is... Uh, going through as uh, was supposed to be or supposed to have been done and then you have the various other uh, gentlemen that are on the piece uh, what's known as the number one two three four uh, etc all the way up to eight to get the piece actually serviced the powder monkey you have but, the yes. uh, people that are worming the piece swabbing uh, and dry sponging and uh, wet sponging all those uh, different parts that are part of the uh, lovely school of the peace process and, and there will be artillery and skirmishing right correct is there is there a plan to add a lot or just i guess it depends on the map or is it just going to be like one piece that's there well obviously when it comes to artillery there is quite a bit of balancing that's definitely going to have to be included <laughs> yes. not just in terms of positioning but also the numbers so uh there is perhaps going to be some limitations when it comes to uh the particular class that's going to be used for the artillery. Uh, so, for instance, if there's like one infantryman, you're not going to have a hundred artillerymen on the field. Right, right, yeah. But at the same time, that is going to be part of the balancing act of the commanders uh, during the skirmish phase as to how many they do want to devote to being artillerymen versus infantrymen. Because if you do have too many artillery, then it's possible that the enemy team can have more infantry that can actually overrun uh, overrun yeah. the, your artillery and then perhaps use it against you, uh, oh. especially if you, uh, you uh, place it in a place that they're able to access. Yeah. So... 
uh, with your artillery that is going to be part of the balancing act of the commanders on the field at the time. Yeah. Is to decide on that. That's going to be really cool because the artillery is going to bring a whole nother like objective to the, to the skirmishing gameplay. Not only do you have the capture point, but you also have artillery. You got to either defend or attack, which I think is going to make for some interesting gameplay. Of course, you're going to be adding cav as well, but that's probably going to be much later down the line. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> hey, you know better than I do. I mean, if you have any information about that, you know, feel free to... I'm af yeah, I'm afraid not at this time, but uh, with any information as we uh, have showcased in our uh, recent roadmap, uh, cavalry is definitely one of the next things that are on the list alongside things like musicians and uh, expanding and the officer classes, all sorts of things like that as we uh, gear ourselves towards a lovely and awesome final product. So yeah, and as, as we were discussing in the field report when we uh, revealed the musicians, uh, the objective of it obviously is going to be to help uh, expand what the officers are able to do with their line, making it so that, um, especially in the heat of battle, it can be hard for the officer to... Uh, uh, give his orders out to his men, whereas uh, with the introduction of musicians, uh, those calls, especially if the men underneath them can learn what those calls are, uh, can help more people hear what the order is in the heat of battle. Uh, especially with the bugler, it's very much uh, able to be heard over the cacophony of battle in comparison to just the screaming of the officer in the <laughs> yes. uh, voice chat. Yes. Uh, which unfortunately can still be uh, drowned out, even in the game such as ours, which actually is all the more historically accurate, fortunately. Right. Uh, but with a bugler or perhaps with a fifer and drummer, there is all sorts of different calls uh, that is part of uh, the battlefield or uh, in the case of the fifer and drummer more so uh, in the camp uh, situation. Um, and there's all sorts of uh, different music that is part of that. Like uh, with fifing and drumming, there is all sorts of really awesome uh, fife and drum music that's out there that we are hoping to uh, also include in the game. So it'll be really awesome for folks to be able to hear some of that. Like a little Hell on the Wabash, a little old 1812, all sorts of... Uh, commonplace ones like that well uh, i will also want to mention that we do have that sale going on so, oh yeah uh, yeah War of rights is currently 50 percent off for those that haven't had the chance to join in the fun yet and uh perhaps we can have all the more folks uh join in all the uh great times that we're talking about here today yeah absolutely i mean 15 dollars for all that content i mean even at 30 dollars, i feel like you get so much from the game I've certainly see, I certainly have seen a lot of new faces around War of, War of Rights, which is exciting because uh, they're about to experience... You know, there's one thing watching gameplay, but when you're actually in it, it's like, man, this is so cool. It's basically reenacting, but through a video game. Exactly. And the uniforms, when you see them in person, just spot on, just looks so good. Oh, I was perhaps just going to mention that, uh, yet again, that was one of the fun things about being the historical advisor is making sure that all those little details are correct, including, for instance, uh, the design of the buckles. Uh, for instance, <laughs> if you're, uh, you did have uh, examples of Ohio regiments, New York regiments that had their own state buckles uh, and state buttons on their uh, uniform and their jackets as well. So, you know, if you were able to get close enough, you'd actually be able to see uh, the New York State uh, symbol or perhaps the uh, South Carolina State buttons and Florida State buttons. You know, they, they did have those particular ones depending on the depots um, on the southern side that you got those sorts of things from, like Columbus Depot, Richmond Depot, um, you know, what manufacturer made it over on the northern side. So there's all sorts of little particulars and details like that that we uh, made sure to get in the game, the designs of the flags, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, and I, and I think a lot of companies would just be like, mm, just put a little gold button there. Nobody cares. But the fact that... <laughs> nobody the, will look. Yeah, it's no, fine. Yeah, nobody cares. But all these little details come together, uh, which, you know, makes this great immersive experience. Uh, so one thing I wanted to bring up is... Um, is melee now obviously the game's still being it's still alpha if i'm not mistaken yep. uh so what is the end goal with melee are you guys happy with melee where it is or oh no it's definitely still something that's in the process of being 
crafted and improved upon. So uh, with the melee that we have right now, it's still very much in the fundamental stages, but uh, that is something that is uh, hoping to be improved as the future goes along. But uh, at the moment, we've been more focused on trying to get all these other different right. uh, facets of the game into our uh, additive phases. Can you, is it possible to explain like, well, of course it's possible, but do you want to explain what you hope Melee becomes? <laughs> um, I don't know if you you don't want to, you know, if you, you know, obviously you don't want to say something and then, you know. Oh, no, it's, it's quite all right. Because uh, we have already mentioned uh, publicly that we are hoping to add improvements such as actually being able to block. <laughs> Always kind of helpful. Uh, so uh, things like uh, blocking, things like... Um, reposts, all, all, all those when it comes to swordplay, uh, all sorts of uh, different things like that will definitely be uh, very important when it comes to adding that for the melee side of things. Um, and that's, like I said, still something that's in the course of development, right. so we'll be able to uh, improve the information on that uh, as we go along in the future. Melee is definitely very difficult because like, you've got like NW for Mountain Blade, or melee is almost comical because it's just like constant <laughs> blocking. You got to find that right balance of realistic melee bayonet combat. And I can yeah. imagine that's pretty challenging. Well, at the same time, we do also have the uh, awesome benefit of a game such as Kingdom Come Deliverance, which had such a huge focus on uh, how the melee worked as it is especially a large part of the game. Yeah. Uh, and so we're hoping to uh, replicate the work that they uh, put into that into our game as well to try and get it as accurate to the period as possible, especially because we have such wonderful resources to work off of uh, versus something set in the 15th century. So right. uh, while there is fortunately a lot of still extant um, uh, documentation and people that are uh, knowledgeable in 15th century sword fighting, uh, there's... Uh, hopefully a similar amount of people that are knowledgeable in 19th century for sword fighting uh, and definitely plenty of documentation from all sorts of different countries such as the Italians, especially the English, uh, the French, uh, and the uh, bayonet tactics uh, that was written by McClellan in 1858, if I'm recalling correctly. Uh, he based off uh, his uh, techniques off of the French systems. So um, that's where our game is going to be uh, definitely focusing on is the McClellan bayonet tactics uh, and the uh, different French resources, the different resources in the various uh, uh, drill manuals of the period that touched on these sorts of things, such as the uh, cavalry tactics, uh, up, not Upton's, but Cook's cavalry cap tactics uh, definitely talked on and touched on um, the way that cavalry was supposed to use the sword. Or the saber, excuse me. That that is true. That there's a lot more information compared to you know uh, medieval times. But uh, yeah, talk about a good time to be a history gaming fan. <laughs> like, so yep, much. we're here to yeah. uh, twiddle all those <laughs> little buttons for you. <laughs> yep, yep. I remember when I played Kingdom Come, and it's just like holy crap. And this, it's the same thing with War Rights, where you're even just walking around in the drill camp, it's like, geez, this is unreal. It's just making history come to life, which is the coolest thing about video games um, and why I think they're so important, especially, I mean, I've learned so much from history from video games alone. Um, <laughs> You know? which, which is oh, hopefully not too too bad a uh, showcase of the American educational system, but uh, that, <laughs> well, that is one of the <laughs> that is one of the things that we're hoping to uh, really help with with War of Rights is that you know we're not just trying to make a fun game, uh, which is one of the balancing acts that I'm having to do as the historical advisor, but also something that's really educational too. For instance, a lot of people might have noticed in our uh, menu that we do have a grayed out encyclopedia button, uh, which we're hoping to also implement in future to actually have a very Age of uh, Empires 2 esque uh, encyclopedia available for folks to uh, peruse through and look at uh, the different information and uh, historical background of units, weaponry, uniforms, uh, locations, all those sorts of things, uh, and also the inclusion at some point of a tour mode where you're not just able to, uh, in the historical battles, fight over the entire battlefield, but also in the tour mode, actually 
uh, walk the entire battlefield as we've been able to present it and go to the different locations such as the uh, Prime Mill and look at how uh, hospitals uh, were like in the field or the Pry House where the gentleman, uh, uh, General Letterman, wh who was in charge of uh, the entire medical department of the Army of the Potomac, uh, how he developed uh, what we know of as the uh, hospital system that is even in use today, uh, let alone the development of the uh, Red Cross and its origins in the U.S. Sanitary Commission that was uh, invented in the Civil War. So there's, you know, all sorts of, you know, those different facets that we can hopefully uh, add to the educational experience of folks. Perhaps it can be used uh, in classrooms even for uh, teachers to actually walk around the battlefield with their students and showcase all those different things, uh, perhaps even take place in the uh, take part in some of the battles too, uh, all sorts of fun like that. Wow, yeah, that is, um, that is- Also known as uh, helping bring history to life, basically. Yeah, that is unreal. That is so cool. I mean, I remember someone made a, a game where you can walk around the Titanic, you know? Yes, yeah. I'm familiar with it. Yeah, so, I mean, something similar with that, with battlefields, which is so cool, for, especially for people who, don't even live in America and it would be very difficult to even try to come to visit or I mean even most battlefields don't even look you know similar to what they once were um, so exactly it, it just makes you time travel and that is that is really really cool I am so glad you said that because I think I would be spending hours <laughs> looking up like different small details I, I mean there's so the cool thing about the Civil War for me, learning it is all these stories of these like different historic figures from, you know, privates, you know, or recruits all the way to the, the generals where you have like, you know, colonels and captains who said a famous quote or did something crazy. And it's just like it's just full of all these great stories of these different uh different guys in the war exactly and and don't forget obviously the uh civilian involvement as well for instance as we were discussing uh the ford underneath uh burnside bridge before the reason why it took them hours to find it was because uh when they were asking the uh a certain farmer in the area he was a confederate sympathizer and he <laughs> decided to omit the fact of that existence uh to them uh or one of my absolutely favorite stories is the story of Mother Ann Bickerdike on the Western Front. Uh, she was a firebrand when it came to the care of the soldiers in the uh, Western Front over there. It's an amazing story for those that might not have heard about it, yet again called Mother Ann Bicker Bickerdike. Excuse me. When you have General Sherman going, yeah, no, she outranks me. You know you're... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know about video games teaching me more about the Civil War, but I definitely learned more about the Civil War outside of schooling more more in college and and beyond than rather it's public schools um, well that's hopefully one of the things that yet again with video games we're hoping to make it all the more accessible for those that you know aren't too interested in history because um, you know I'm a history major myself and I uh, can definitely see how people you know will look at history and go oh that terrible H word um, but when you present it in a much more accessible version than just, you know, dusty textbooks and an uncomfortable chair in a hot classroom. Uh, it becomes much more alive, so, so much more engaging. Uh, like, for instance, I've done quite a few school events uh, in my reenacting years where, you know, being able to actually touch the wool of the uniform and being able to see how heavy the equipment is, uh, it really helps bring it to be more than just a whole bunch of boring names and dates. Right. It's, yeah. it, it was a real life thing. And yeah. with video games, it really helps uh, bring that to the fore. I just want to thank you for taking the time for this this interview. I'm sure a lot of people will be um, excited for this interview and hearing what's kind of the plans for War of Rights. And uh, I think we got a lot of cool info um, from this interview. So, uh, yeah. Absolutely. I just want to say that like I'm loving War of Rights. It's fantastic. And I cannot wait to see... Uh, what you guys are coming up with next well i'm really glad to hear that and i thank you as well for this opportunity and uh with any luck we'll see you and a whole bunch of other folks on the battlefield <laughs> absolutely